Pretty much everybody that knows me has told me that playing this many Sonic games is definitely not good for my survival. Hello everybody, I'm Garilla64 and welcome back to Sonic Fan Games. Today we've got Sonic Project Survival, which is a game that I heard about through the internet. And that's pretty much it. Uh, doesn't seem like we have any extra actions, it's just the usual spin dash. Do we have the peel out? We do. So we've got ourselves a peel out, a spin dash, and very, very loud music. And I think that's a Sonic 3 styled HUD, right? Forget. Or maybe that's... I don't know, I've seen that somewhere before, the little weird... What even is that supposed to be? A spiky Sonic teardrop? Is that like for like a like shedding a single tear for the franchise or who knows? But anyway, this is again in the G-Mate engine, which I previously said hey is not my favorite. This game actually let me configure my controller. So props for that. Because 90% of the time, G-Mate games do not work with my controller unless I set it up through Joy to Key. And it's not like a huge hassle, but it's just kind of annoying, you know? Because, I mean, it has controller functionality, my controller just doesn't work with it most of the time. Also, the hills and stuff around here and the fences remind me a bit of Bridge Zone. But we don't have the Bridge Zone music, and Mr. Frog over here... I'm not gonna lie, that's very clever, the frog's legs are two springs, that's... That's fantastic. He still dies, though. It's fine. You know, even... even if you impress me... He's still getting the slice and dice, sorry. What's up there? What was I gonna say? I don't know, G-Mate's an engine. Not my favorite, but it's here. Now let's head back up this way, because what wonders could we possibly find on the high road? Continued existence, that's nice. Also, whatever this song is, is pretty... pretty grand, I like it. Wait, okay, I 100% hit the A button there, but I guess we're gonna pretend I didn't, for the sake of the game. Don't worry, game, you can do whatever you desire. It's all about you today. I also don't know when this demo's from. I feel like I saw something say 2016, but at the same time, that might be wrong. Also, these sprites are really nice. That's a very smooth rotation. It reminds me of, uh, Pana, the ROM hack from a while back. I know Ant Dude covered that one. And then I played it a little while- well, a while later than that, actually, but... Gave it a shot, because I saw it on his video, and I was like, that looks really fun, and it was. It's a really well-designed game, and it was really nice to look at. And alley -oop. This is cool. I really like how this looks. I mean, it looks like another Green Hilly area, but it looks different enough that it doesn't feel just like Green Hill. And that's a booyah right there, if I've ever seen one. And we got one fish for the price of one. Which is acceptable. Ooh, hey. That's new. I like that. Ooh, okay. Solid jump. And I didn't die. Yo, this is cool. I didn't expect anything like that in the middle of the stage. Or the end of the stage, right? That's a great set piece, I like that. Part of my favorite, like, things of Sonic of all time... Let me rephrase that sentence, because it didn't work. One of my favorite things about the franchise is when games throw in those tiny little set pieces, like, you know, the giant gun truck in City Escape, the whale chase in Emerald Coast. You've got, like, the, uh... The, em the, uh, the, the Emerald Sh Coast. The Emerald Coast... The Emerald Coast ripoff! Let me say that three times. Act three. Wait, what do you mean? Are we already done? Robotnik's up to no good, huh? I wish... I wish I were surprised about that. Won't he ever learn? Run off and beat him like you always do. Okay, I'll do it. You just sit here and don't do anything, okay? Was that it? Is there only one thing? There's only one act? It's like a super short one? Uh, well, I guess that's it. Oh, wait, hold on. Tails. Sonic, am I glad to see you? Did you see Robotnik heading here? I wonder what brings him here. Whatever it is, it can't be good. I like that these two got off their... their, uh... their couches when they saw Eggman flying by and decided to come and fix things immediately. Like, they didn't even wait for him to do anything. They just showed up and they're ready to square up. Oh, it's... oh, there is an Act 2 over here, okay. Don't worry about silly old Eggy. I know you can take him down, but just in case you need help, I'll crack that egg with my hammer. Hee <laughs> hee, winky face emoji. <laughs> she said that out loud. Alright, looks like we're not done. Joke's on that. Please, I hope you didn't leave the video, because I said it was over. 
But speaking of the, uh, the stage, uh, set pieces, stuff like in Sonic 06, like in, you know, in, in the jungle level that I forget the name of, remember when Elise and Sonic take that vine and they stretch way down and they almost touch the water and it's just this big thing, it's very memorable. Then, off the top of my head, I, uh, can't think of anything from, like, Secret Rings or... Well, Secret Rings had that one time when you're on the... Aren't you on a bridge and then the bridge explodes and you have to- you get thrown onto a log in the water and you have to ride the log through the water? Like, that was cool. That's one of them. There's just a lot of neat stuff like that. And the 2D games have stuff like that, too. Like, the flame bath showing up in Sonic 3 and Knuckles at the very beginning. And, it, you know, it torches Angel Island and then you go, Oh, no! And then you continue on your way. Except that one has more of an effect on gameplay because it actually changes the levels entirely. No bottomless pit? Good. Had a small scare, but now I have not a care in the world. Whoa, alright. Oh, well, this music is jamming, dude. It's so, like, I could totally rock out to this. This is perfect for a Sonic Zone. And again, it reminds me a bit of Sonic Runners. Just like the tone of it, because it doesn't sound like Sonic Forces music or Sonic Adventure music or anything like that. It sounds heart pumping, but it also sounds very soft and easy going. I'm gonna die here. It sounds kind of like Sonic Advanced music, maybe? A little bit? Oh, wait. This was a mistake. Uh oh. Wait, no! There's a, a bubbler back there! Oh no! Oh, rip. Oh, rip. <laughs> Alright, Sonic. Looks like the survival part of Sonic Project Survival is not really happening as easily as I thought it would. That was just because I was underwater, and hedgehogs really don't typically have to survive underwater for very long. Maybe in the Splatoon world... Keep... This is a segue, people, okay? Get ready for this. So, in the Splatoon world, water has taken over the world. Water is like the new Doctor Evil. It's taken over. And... All the squids have evolved away the the need to be in water because now it's deadly for some reason and now they live on land and any water kills them I wonder if there's anything below th the water like hedgehogs for example they learned to breathe underwater and thrive where the inklings have left that behind think about that could have a like underwater sonic adventure it could be like that fan game crash underwater except instead it's sonic underwater See the correlation there? See how that works? I think it's a good idea. Except he can breathe, so it doesn't matter. It's kind of like that one part of Sonic before the sequel, I think? You know, when you're underwater the whole time, but, like, you have a bubble shield the whole time and it's permanent, so you really... There's no reason to actually have the water... Uh, the level be underwater. I guess maybe, maybe the physics were changed a little bit, so that's one reason that they had it underwater. Is this gonna go all the way back up, or am I gonna have to, like... Okay, cool. Oh, hello there. Usually we see giant wrecking balls on these chains, but now we have something that can actually be helpful. Also, here we go again. Sunset... Sunset Surfing. Sunset Surf Zone. That could be one of our Sonic Underwater levels. What do you guys think? I think I like that. Hit me up if you want stage names. I'll come up with a bunch. Yo, this is awesome. All right, that momentum's carrying me super far. Yo, that was a really cool game. And I didn't see a level 3 over there unless it opens after I complete Act 2. So let's all cross our fingers and just hope to the fan game overlords that we get to try one more level in this game. Riverside Park Zone. Nice stage name. And this is very... very nice, this area. Oh, we did! Here we go. Alright, we lucked out, guys. We got one more. I wonder if there's a boss act in this as well. Or maybe this is the boss act. We could go through this and after we get to the end of Act 3, we get to, uh, fight good old Eggy Poo. There are fireflies in this. Not like the meme, I mean like the song, of course. The entirety of Owl City is here. Isn't that crazy? They should have thrown some Owl Badniks in here to have the fireflies just hang around with them. That would have been, that would have been a really nice, dumb reference that... Probably not too many people would have noticed. But hey, I got you. I would have noticed. Just the aesthetics are so cool. I've been saying that a lot lately, but it's true. Like, all the stuff I've been playing lately have been really nice looking. And down we go. 
No way! Oh, jeez. Thought I was gonna be sent right back down, careening into the underwater section, but... Not gonna do that today. No, thank you very much. Please and you're welcome. Some order of those words. That was a trick. That was a tricky trap. I had to wait longer. This is a Sonic game. I don't like waiting. Oh, gosh. Come on, that's my idle habit. You know when you're in public and you're really impatient, so you just start dancing up and down? Sonic gets you. Anyone ever challenges you on that, just tell them Sonic did it. And you're practicing being Sonic because you play Sonic in the new movie. And they will have no idea. They will be none the wiser because they probably don't care. And they'll be like, wow, that's really cool. Please, if you do that, don't do that. Ben Schwartz might get jealous of you. <laughs> I'm really eager to hear what he sounds like in the movie, to be honest. I think Ben Schwartz is going to do a pretty alright job. I think if Jim Carrey doesn't carry the movie... Haha. <laughs> pun. I think definitely Ben Schwartz is Sonic, if they give him some good lines. I think he'll definitely do a good job. Because I've heard him, vo heard him voice some characters, and I can picture him as Sonic. Of course, I'll always like, uh, you know, the other Sonics more, I think. Unless... Unless Ben Schwartz really knocks it out of the park, but I guess we will see soon enough in 2019 at some point. I don't know when it's coming out. Do we have a date yet, or is it just like 2019? Because I wouldn't be surprised if it's just 2019 at the moment. Cutscene and boss? Ooh, that's very threatening. <laughs> oh, okay. Alright, you caught me really off guard with that one. But, uh, bonus points for making me laugh. That was... That was actually really funny. I... <laughs> Mostly because that doesn't happen very much anymore. But I guess this was made back when that was popular, but that was... That was some Gucci stuff right there, guys. Alright. So I think that is going to be all for today. So if you like this video and you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe, click the bell, follow my Twitter, and join the Discord to keep up with more Sonic fan games and other things that aren't Sonic fan games because I do a lot of things. I'd also like to give a huge thank you to my current sponsors, Cosmic Mushroom, Lucas Tallman, Dire Pants, Nico the Person, Mitron, Silva PhD, Stefan R3, Kenneth Gutierrez, Knuckles Channel 3 and Knuckles, Atlas Requiem, Random Indolent, Henry S, Rob Morrison, Mega Traffic on Creative, and Mike TGC. Thank you guys so much for sponsoring, it really means a lot. If you have any interest in becoming a sponsor yourself, please make sure to check out the link in the description for more information and all the benefits, such as being shouted out at the end of every single video and stream. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.